Hi and welcome to week 21 of World History 2. So this week we're going to cover and move through pivotal moments in world history, exploring the domestic and foreign policies of Napoleon III, the territorial expansion of the United States, the causes and effects of the American Civil War, and the profound impact of economic growth and social reform on the United States. So we will begin with Napoleon III, the nephew of the famous Napoleon Bonaparte. As the ruler of France from 1852 to 1870, he implemented both domestic and foreign policies that left a lasting impact on the nation. Domestically, he aimed for modernization and economic development. Napoleon III invested heavily in infrastructure like railways and roads, fostering industrial growth. Socially, he initiated reforms to improve living conditions for the working class. However, his rule was not without controversy. The limitations on political freedoms and opposition suppression tarnished his domestic policies. On the foreign front, Napoleon III pursued an active interventionist strategy. He engaged in conflicts like the Crimean War, Crimean War, and the Italian unification process, attempting to establish France as a dominant European power. So shifting gears, we'll look at the expansive history of the U.S. from its early days as a collection of colonies to the nation it is today. So territorial expansion has played a crucial role, of course. The Louisiana Purchase of 1803 doubled the country's size, opening the floodgates for westward expansion. The Oregon Trail and the California Gold Rush further fueled migration, pushing the frontier ever westward. The annexation of Texas, the, American, the Mexican-American War, and the Gadsden Purchase added vast territories, leading to a nation stretching from coast to coast. However, this westward march had profound consequences for indigenous people, often resulting in displacement, conflict, and war. Then we'll be turning our attention to a defining moment in American history, the Civil War. A nation divided over issues of slavery, states' rights, and economic differences erupted into a brutal conflict in 1861. So learning the causes and effects of the Civil War is essential. Causes include long-standing tensions between the North and the South, the moral dilemma of slavery, and disputes over the balance of power. The war's effects were profound, leading to the abolition of slavery, a strengthened federal government, and the, the Reconstruction Era, attempting to rebuild a nation torn apart. Finally, we'll look at the um, impact of economic growth and social reform in the United States. So railroads, telegraphs, and technological innovations spurred economic growth. But this prosperity was not evenly distributed. The Gilded Age was marked by stark income inequality, prompting a wave of social reform movements. Activists like Jane Addams and Susan B. Anthony fought for women's rights and social justice, laying the groundwork for a more equitable society. So, as we conclude, uh, we're going to touch on Napoleon III's life um, and his policies, the territorial expansion of the United States, the causes and effects of the American Civil War, and the transformative impact of economic growth and social reform. So I want to thank you, and I look forward to seeing you all and working with you next week. Thank you.